Welcome back to Let's Play Batman Arkham Origins. I'm Burning Dogface. And I'm pretty sure one of those two guys is, uh, huh? Maybe not. I was gonna say one of, uh, Enigma's data handlers. Let's leave that for now, shall we? I thought it's more fun to uh, tag them individually. It seems I still I'm still not done at the uh, radio tower over here. So let's just beam back over to uh, the Bowery. You know, I'm no expert on high-speed aerodynamics, but I'm pretty sure it wouldn't take this long to plane from one area to the other. I mean, it only took me, like, five minutes to get there on foot. Well, on foot in rather large quotation marks. Soda Cola. Tum tum tum. Da 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 da. I like you to get all this text out of my face, incidentally. Ah, thank you. Really must find a faster way of getting that information across in future. Ah, there it is. Awesome. Let's get this, it just generally sounds good. Increased Batarang stun time. Increases the stun time for opponents impacted by a Batarang. Improves all types of Batarangs. Pressure point based impacts delays recovery time for targets. This allows the user to close the distance for a ground takedown or to subdue multiple enemies. Upgraded. Oops. trigger, that's why. I really like how well the camera keeps up with 
Like, this could be a giant pain in the ass if I had to constantly think about readjusting the camera, too. Oh, you're not gonna like this. Oh, we used to use the, uh... The bats. The bat, yeah. You know, the baseball bats. To, uh... I don't know, leverage their arms against and then twist. Oh! I got a, uh, thing. I should look into that. Uh... What are these, anyway? Hey, I got one. When achieving a combo of 12 or above without using a special combo move, you enter free flow focus mode. This includes, increases movement speed and reaction time. So, ever using any special combo move will cause free flow focus to be lost. One in particular I'm interested in. I guess it would be in here now, somewhere. Oh well. Oh. Come on. I'm not stupid. I didn't think it would be that easy. Ah, that's uh, easy enough. It's just oh, it's just a box. I could just, I could, those guys could have thrown it at me if we were over here. Well, I don't see any sparks to throw a battering through, so I'll leave that one there. Really bad habit of not finishing things I'm talking about because I got distracted. Like the first time I got to the Bat Cave, I uh. You're aware you've no reason to be here, right? Fly away, little bat. Potential assignment. Coming. Keep the channel open. How do I shut down this jamming signal if it isn't related to the, now I can uh... access the SIM card I oh. from that arms dealer and hack Penguin's communications. I guess it just forgot to do that the first time. This is Anarchy, and you're listening to Free Wave. Radio of the people, for the people. I thought I'd kick things off tonight with a reading from Plain Words. But first, a little background for those of you who haven't been paying attention. In the late spring of 1919, the United States was subject to a series of bombings carried out by the disciples of Luigi Galliani. Galliani uh. was an adherent of a philosophy known as Propaganda by the Deed. In its simplest form, it is the belief that actions speak louder than words, violent actions being the loudest. In June, several large bombs were detonated across the United States. At each site, flyers were left behind. They bore the title, Plain Words. The bombings were meant to call attention to the serious issues facing American citizens. The freedoms once guaranteed to them by the country's founders were slowly being stripped away. The government's increasingly fascist tactics would culminate in the Red Scare. Fear of the outsider led to increased warrantless surveillance, raids against U.S. citizens, mass imprisonments, and in some cases, execution. If it sounds familiar, that's because it is. Just replace communist or socialist or anarchist with the word terrorist. The names change, but the repressive tactics and fear-mongering stay the same. The text I'm about to read you is nearly a century old. That it's still just as relevant today shows you how little we've managed to learn. Until we break the shackles of our fascio capitalist masters, we will never know true freedom. So... Without further ado, here is plain words. The powers that be make no secret of their will to stop. Here in America, the worldwide spread of revolution. 
What the, the fuck? Must reckon that they will have to accept the fight they have provoked. A time when the social question solution can be delayed no longer. Class war is on and cannot cease but with a complete victory for the international proletariat. The challenge is an old one, O oh democratic lords of the autocratic republic. We have been dreaming of freedom. We have talked of liberty. We have aspired to a better world. And you jailed us. You clubbed us. You deported us. You murdered us whenever you could. Now that the great war waged to replenish your purses and build a pedestal to your saints is over. Nothing better can you do to protect your stolen millions and your usurped fame than to direct all the power of the murderous institutions you created for your exclusive defense against the working multitudes rising to a more human conception of life. The jails, the dungeons you rear to bury all protesting voices are now replenished with languishing conscientious workers and never satisfied, you increase their number every day. It is history of yesterday that your gunmen were shooting and murdering unarmed masses by the wholesale. It has been the history of every day in your regime. And now all prospects are even worse. Do not expect us to sit down and pray and cry. We accept your challenges and mean to stick to our war duties. We know that all you do is for your defense as a class. We also know that the proletariat has the same right to protect itself. Since their press has been suffocated, their mouths muzzled. We mean to speak for them the voice of dynamite through the mouth of guns. Do not say we are acting cowardly because we keep hiding. Do not say it is abominable. It is war. Class war. And you were the first to wage it under cover of the powerful institutions you call order in the darkness of your laws behind the guns of your boneheaded slave. No liberty do you accept but yours. The working people also have a right to freedom. And their rights, our own rights, we have set our minds to protect at any price. We are not many, perhaps more than you dream of though, but are all determined to fight to the last. Till a man remains buried in your bastilles, till a hostage of the working class is left to the tortures of your police system, and will never rest until your fall is complete, and the laboring masses have taken possession of all that rightly belongs to them. There will be bloodshed. We will not dodge. There will have to be murder. We will kill because it is necessary. Holy crap! There will have to be destruction. We will destroy to it's a hell of a monologue. The tyrannical institutions. We are ready to do anything and everything to suppress the capitalist class. Just as you are doing anything and everything to suppress the proletarian revolution. Our mutual position is pretty clear. What has been done by us so far is only a warning that there are friends of popular liberty still living. Only now we are getting into the fight. And you will have a chance to see what liberty-loving people can do. Do not seek to believe that we are the Germans or the devil's paid agents. You know well we are class-conscious men with strong determination and no vulgar liability. And never hope that your cops and your hounds will ever succeed in ridding the country of the anarchist germ that pulses in our veins. We know how we stand with you and know how to take care of ourselves. Besides, you will never get all of us, and we multiply nowadays. Just wait and resign to your fate, since privilege and riches have turned your heads. Long live social revolution! Down with tyranny! The pamphlet was signed, the anarchist fighters. There's a lot in the flyer to digest and discuss. But I know a lot of you out there can sympathize with the ideas expressed inside. We've tried working within the political machine, but the deck is stacked against us. The system is not designed to be an engine for change. It's more like a vacuum, pulling in all our grievances and then dumping them into the trash. We want to be heard. We need to speak out. And words alone aren't going to cut it. This is anarchy. And you're listening to free wave. With anarchy. The people, for the people. Of course. Of course it's anarchy. Any good near Dixon Dock for Dixon Dock. Dixon Dock. Dixon Dock. Dixon Dock. Dixon Dock. Dixon Dock. Dixon we're there. Anonymous tip. That's all I got. Delta affirmative. They don't encrypt police radio? Huh. Anarchy is a DC character who is basically V from V for Vendetta. Of ambiguous morality, his uh, thing is sticking it to the man, whether it's legal or not. 
pretty pissed off about the deal going south. Yeah, if I was involved in that, I'd be on my way out of the city. Alfred, I'm reading a signal from Penguin's men, but it's not associated with any known wireless frequency. Ah, yes, I see it here. Looks like Penguin runs his own private wireless network, using laptop transmitters serving as ad hoc comm stations. He's feeding his men frequencies via two-way radio. There are two of these comm stations near your position. Good. Mark them on my map. If I can find and hack those walkie-talkies, I can triangulate Penguin's position. Good to know. We're in for it now. Down you go! I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you over the sound of how awesome I am. Damn it. Ah, you punched me through that guy, that's not fair. Down the old fashioned way. In the beans! Oh! There's the guy they were hassling. Can't talk to this guy? That's okay. Ferris Aircraft, incidentally, the company that Hal Jordan works for in uh, before he becomes a Green Lantern. Kale Anderson. I've seen other signs of that, but I don't know if that's a reference. Where am I actually going? That way. Incidentally, the grapple accelerator was described in Arkham City as being a prototype. Ah, uh, nuts. Oh, this isn't that weird bug, is it? Oh, there's one over here. Let me just try something. This is still there. Well, maybe, maybe uh, let's track down the penguin, deactivate the jamming signal, do luck for a sim card. Except I've already done one of those. It's not good. Fuck. Well then, fuck it. I will set a uh, personal waypoint over there. Okay, so, uh, I did a quick Google search, and without reading any of the details, it seems that the game-breaking bug someone is mentioning in the, uh, radio tower is in this one here in Burnley. So I haven't just fucked up the game by doing whatever it is I've done here. Hopefully, when I complete this general quest, uh, it'll remove all of these points. 
I'm gonna be really pissed about that. I might actually start over if it's uh, stuck that way. Yeah, because it's supposed to point to your next uh, main mission whenever you don't have it set to a manual thing. I don't want to have to constantly set it to a you know, just out of the way uh, point. What am I trying to say? So I, I don't want to have to keep doing this every single time I want to continue the story. Oh, there's the church. I wonder if I can go inside. I do want to get closer to that. Why, that's another radio tower. No, it's way off in the distance. I'm going about halfway there. Son of a bitch. Oh, hey, look, there's the Wayne Enterprises building. <sighs> In any event, I'm a slightly cautious burning dog face. Not cautious, slightly trepidatious. Yes, that's the word. And this is Let's Play Batman Arkham Origins. I'll see you next time, when hopefully we get this waypoint mess sorted out, and we can find out wh what the penguin knows about Black Mask. I'll see you then.